So hello, and uh, yeah, it's uh, review time. We are here, just turning my radio off. We're here to have a look at a little tripod that KNF has sent me. Um, now this is not a big tripod. This is a tiny, weeny, small, I think it's a 1.2 kilogram, if that. Um, it's a tiny little weeny tripod, but I'm putting it through its test. I'm at South Stack. Uh, we're at South Stack Lighthouse. So I'm just taking a few pictures and I'm trying to even do a panoramic with it as well. So I'll pop up the pictures. I know it's not uh, a, a more of a it's more of a review this is than it is uh, taking photographs but i'm gonna put the pictures up for you anyway just so you can see what you can capable of doing when there's no wind there's no wind around it's dead still it's dead quiet it's dead it's, it's perfect conditions to use a little tripod like this but i wouldn't trust it and walk away from it as you can see it's it's only just balanced on the ground it doesn't it's not even heavy enough to push itself into the moss and the grass it sort of just sits on the top of it um, so it's definitely not something i'd walk away and leave um, but for a small compact little tripod it could come in handy say you're a cyclist or a motorcyclist even it would go in your backpack and it would sit there and you wouldn't even know you've got it on you say you're going backpacking or hiking or uh, camping and uh, you want a little tripod to take with you to put a, a small camera on. i mean i've got my xt4 on there with a quite a big lens on there um, and it, it's sitting there and it's quite sturdy in these conditions now if it was windier all i'd do is then pop the legs out and open the leg right up and then prop it down into the ground so it's more stable that is definitely more stable now it's not going to get blown over but you know it's not the heaviest of tripods but if you want something small and lightweight this carbon fiber uh it, it could do the job now i've got quite chunky hands uh, one thing i have noticed is the grips on it are not designed for big paws like i've got um, it's quite difficult to get my hand in and twist it but if you've got small fingers, small hands, you can easily reach in there and uh, grab hold of the twist locks and lock them off. They're rubberized, so you can get a good hold of them. Uh, you can't put steel, steel feet on it. You can't put spikes on it. It's got solid feet on it. Um, so, you know, the, you're stuck with that. Uh, what it does have is a um, monopod, so you can remove the leg. And it's got a nice little bit of foam grip on there. You can actually remove this leg and... Uh, turn it into a monopod if you want it so if you just want to you know sturdy your camera a little bit for yourself that would work there's a nice little ball head on there You've got a beautiful little ball head with a uh, a ball on the top and a pano base so you can actually pano you can see there you can pano that round and that twists quite nice and quite smoothly uh, you've got a bubble i think in the top Let's just have a look let's take my camera off bear with me for one moment we've got a yep yeah, we've got a bubble in the top uh, so you can actually get the camera level if you want to. I'm just going to put my camera back on. So bear with me a second. Right, so here it is. Um, I packed my camera away now. I thought I'd just pull this down and show you what it looks like, sort of folded up. I've got all the specs for this on my phone, and I'm going to get my phone out in a moment and uh, give you some specs on it. But this is how small this thing folds up to. It's very, very compact, very, very small. We are just talking to Mike just now and just said that this would be really handy when you go to somewhere like London or edinburgh where you're not supposed to carry tripods in cities you could uh, quite easily put this in your pocket carry it around in your pocket see if it's very really small carry it around in your pocket and then just set it up as a small tripod on a wall this is what i would do with it i'd get it out make it as small as it would go and i just set it up on the wall and that way you can use a little tripod set your camera up take a picture put it away uh, vlogging again it makes an ideal little vlogging tripod because you can hold this at arm's length and uh, set up and put a camera on here it'd be ideal for something like that so proper lightweight proper nice little thing and with it being carbon fiber it's uh, quite strong as well for its size so let's get the specs out and give you some specs on this little thing and tell you what we've got but uh yeah so far it's quite a nice little lightweight tripod so specs wise let's have a go right now i've got to take my glasses off for this haven't i because i can't see otherwise right so we've got a maximum height of uh, 60.2 inches which is 153 centimeters uh, that's with a column fully extended with a column down um, we're looking at 120 centimeters about four foot uh, folded down height it goes to 18 inches which is 46 centimeters and then completely folded down and compact you're looking at 35 centimeters so that's uh pretty small like i say i've just showed you it's pretty pretty tiny um it comes in a bag it comes in this nice little bag as well um which you can chuck over your shoulder or chuck in your, your rucksack uh i told you you've got the panoramic head like i said we can spin the head round with a little panoramic top on it it's got a monopod um i didn't show you the monopod did i so you unscrew the leg and you've got one little monopod this is handy i suppose if you're walking 
um, to give you a bit of a steady stick and uh, also if you just wanted to balance your camera and just hold it a bit steady while you're doing things it would work quite well the monopod uh, will go if you screw it to the extension as well and um, you can take the the bottom out you've got a, a bag hook on the bottom you can take the bottom hook screw that to the top of your monopod and it extends up and that gives you a maximum height of 159 centimeters which is pretty awesome um, I'd use that for sports or something so you can pan round and you're working with sports and you're just steady in the camera then with quite a big lens on it. Now it's got a payload of 8 kilograms, uh, that's 17.6 pounds, so this little thing here will actually take a camera up to 8 kilograms, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. I think that's very, very clever. Um, it weighs 2.2 pounds, 2.2 pounds, I think that's a kilo, just over a kilo. Um, so yeah, that is extremely light. Uh, it's smaller than a 14 inch laptop, you know, so we are talking pretty small, pretty compact. Um, 1.2 kilograms it is, yeah, exactly that, that's what I've heard. It's got a 22 millimeter five section leg, so your top leg is 22 millimeters of carbon um, and goes right down to very thin, very small. The only thing I would say about it is the, the bottom leg section is extremely thin, you're looking at about 8 to 10 mil. Um, so I tend to keep that in unless you really, really have to extend the tripod out and just use the other legs on that. Um, where are we? What else have we got written down for this? Uh, we've got a price. I've got to give a price for you. It actually retails. It's quite expensive for a very, very small tripod. It retails at £137. Now, it is carbon fibre and it's extremely lightweight, so that's probably uh, the selling point, you know, for very extreme backpacking work. And I've got a link in the description. That actually, if you are interested, if you use the link, it actually goes through my affiliate, uh, which gives me a little little odd percentage in the in the sale of the tripod, which is not a lot, but it really does help. It help everything helps, doesn't it? Let's face it. Uh, the number for this tripod is a KF09.077V2, so it must be version 2. Um, so that's the number, all the information will be up on the screen for you. Um, it's, it says here it's an upgraded BA225 carbon tripod. That's pretty much everything that I've got. Um, I did just see one thing there, let's have a quick look at that. Uh, yeah, just says folded up in a carry case at 35 centimeters. So yeah, an extremely small tripod. There's not much else I can say about it. It's got push, it's got the push button um, levers on it. And it's got different sections. It'll go out one, two, three, four different positions. But what I like about this is you can pull it out, it stays out, and then you push it in and it goes back down to where you want it to go down to. And then you can push it out from the back. Some of the ones, the recent ones have been a bit flopsy. This is really, really quite stiff. So that seems to work quite well. But yeah, it is. it's just an extremely small, extremely compact little tripod. And uh, I have shown you a couple of photographs, haven't I, that I've taken on it. So as long as it's not windy and blowing a gale, it's a very capable little baby. And uh, yeah, it might be one that's going in the Christmas box. So if you're after one of these, tune into my Christmas video when we get round to it. Yeah, it'll probably end up in the Christmas box for you. Unless Denise pinches it off me, that is. So yeah, KNF tripod. Baby review done. See you next time. Ciao for now.